Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box bar settings overview video. The bar settings dialog will allow you to make specific changes to your song at specific bars, such as tempo and key changes, instrument and volume changes, or even style and reel tracks changes. To access the bar settings dialog, just select the bar you wish to make changes to and press the F5 key, or right click on the particular bar you would like to make changes to and select bar settings. You can see along the top here, it displays which bar you are applying changes to. You can also choose to have these changes apply to certain choruses or all choruses throughout the song in this drop down menu here. Over here, we can make changes like how many beats in the selected bar, tempo changes, or key changes. To change the style at a certain bar, just use the dot .sty button to open the style picker, or the open button to choose a style from another location on your computer. Once you have chosen a style change, the name of the new style will be displayed here. To cancel the style change, just press the clear style button. You can also make changes to particular reel tracks or reel drums at a certain bar as well. Just press the reel drums button to open the reel drums picker and change the drums at a particular bar. The drums you have chosen will be displayed here. To cancel any reel drum changes you have made, just press the clear button here. To change a reel track, just click the reel tracks button. This will open a dialog allowing you to choose which track you would like to change. To select the track you wish to change, and then click the change reel tracks to drop down menu to open the reel track picker. The reel tracks changes you have chosen will display here as well. To cancel the reel tracks changes, just click the reel tracks button again, and then press clear, then press OK. Another way bar settings are commonly used is volume changes. For example, you can mute any track you like at a specific bar. Let's say I only wanted the vocal track in this style to play during the chorus. I'll select the first bar of the song and open the bar settings window. Here we have our mixer tracks listed. I'll select the vocal track and choose mute. This will mute the vocal track at the specified bar until I specify otherwise. So now just press OK. You can see here by our part markers that the chorus begins here. So let's select this bar and open our bar settings window again. Select the vocal track again and choose back to normal, then press OK. Now you can tell by the red line on these particular bars that I have made changes to these bars. So if we play the song now, you can hear the vocal does not come in until the bar we have designated. And now you can hear how the vocal track kicked in at bar 9. You can also make patch changes at specific bars if you are using MIDI instruments. Down here we also have an option for you to make harmony changes not only at a specific bar, but also at a specific beat within that bar. You can reset all changes made to the current bar here, and reset all changes made to all bars here. So just for fun, let's make a few changes. I will mute the vocals same as before, and then bring them back in at bar nine. But I will also mute the piano at bar nine and make a small change to the drums as well to give it a more relaxed feel during this section. Let's have a listen.
And now you can hear the song has a very mellow feel here. Thanks for watching our bar settings overview. Have fun.